Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $99,352.47. In the past year, I am up $26,795.45. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $8,430.37. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $2,059.90. After hours, I am up $5.89. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Disney $100 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, $5.01. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, zero. I'm selling Disney $90 cash secured puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, I am down $3. I'm selling SoFi six and a half dollar cash secured puts these expire august 9th my total return eighteen dollars i'm selling google 210 dollar covered calls these expired december 20th my total return 714 dollars i have mcdonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $220. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $253. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $350. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $182.75. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $25,143.78. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.41. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $10,720.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $89.81. My average cost, $60. My total return, $8,943. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $167.01. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,453. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $58.40. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $139.88. This is a margin account. My margin total is $87,456.88. My margin used is $52,199.48. My options collateral is $32,900. This leaves me with $2,357.40 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $28,000. 
my annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I am paying is $9.48 and I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So today was a very good day for me. I was up over $2,000 today, which is a very nice recovery from all the money I've been losing in the past week. I've made a video before about how I was down over $9,000 in the past week, but now I'm only down $3,895.55, which is still a sizable amount. I mean, that's close to $4,000 down in the past week, but I've recovered a little bit, a couple of thousand dollars. So that's what's happened in the past week. A couple of notes for some of my positions. I believe two covered calls expired today. My Amazon covered calls, the strike price was around $187.50. And Amazon is at $182.75. So it did stay below the strike price. So I still have my shares of Amazon. All I did was collect the premium for my covered calls. Another one was PayPal. I had PayPal covered calls and the strike price I chose was $60 and PayPal is below $60. It's at $58.40. So same issue here. I kept my shares of PayPal and all I did was collect the premium. So I made some little bit of extra money for my covered calls and I still have my shares. Now, in terms of things I'm expecting to expire soon, it's going to be these two here, the Disney $100 covered calls and the SoFi $9 covered calls. Now, what's notable here is SoFi actually does report next week. So if we go to SoFi, scroll down, it says that it's available July 30th pre-market. Let me check when July 30th is. That's on Tuesday next week. So Tuesday next week, we're going to see how SoFi did quarter two, 2024. And hopefully it's good. The estimated is one cent per share. So as long as they made money and didn't lose, then hopefully investors will like that and they'll buy up more shares of SoFi, but we'll see. I do have my covered call at the $9 strike price. Right now, SoFi is at $7.41. And depending on how things go, it could go right past $9, but we'll see what happens. And then I also have some Disney cash secured puts expiring on the 9th, which is the week after that. But yeah, other than that, I don't have anything else to report for this portfolio update. If you guys like watching this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep on making these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.